Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, F Sheikh Excel Master and I am your friend Faraz Sheikh. Today here with another exciting video where we are going to learn about the convert function in Excel. This is a really amazing function available in Excel which can help us to convert one measurement into another measurement. As you can see the data what we have over here and we like to convert this Fahrenheit into Celsius we can easily do it with the help of the convert function. So let us quickly see my friends how are we going to use this function. We will start with equals to convert. It will ask you to enter the value or the number. So either I can mention the number over here 123 or I can select the value from the cell and I will select comma as soon as I select comma as you can see the complete list of all the measurements are available here and we will be selecting degree Fahrenheit comma and as soon as I press comma we will get depending conversions which can be converted so we will be selecting degree Celsius and here we have the data so let us change it 86 it's working fine. Let us see another example. Convert this value into tons, comma, grams. And we'll be giving it yep. Here we have it. Isn't it easy, my friends? This is really amazing, amazing function. Now my friends, I would like to take you to another level of convert function where we'll select this value. And as you can notice my friends, you cannot see kg. So I'll be posting this link in the below video description. And in this link, you will be coming to the Microsoft website where they have very neatly organized the weight of measurements all this time year pressure and everything is being maintained so for us to calculate the kilograms as you can see kilograms we will use this abbreviation K and we will join it with G so it is for grams so let us see convert one pound comma where kg comma to equals lpm enter here we have it similar way convert one foot should be in the quotes comma now for centimeter if you can come down it is written as C the abbreviation is C centimeter so we will write C why we are mentioning it C because the abbreviation over here is mentioned as C and M is for meter which has already been defined over here now so let us see this last example this was really helpful for me when I was doing a project where we were uh, extracted some data for all the files and we wanted to convert those files from KB to GB and MBs so this has really helped me during that time so we will see how we are going to do this convert now we are going to convert this number comma and we'll go back again to this Microsoft page where they have given the abbreviation for gigabytes it is GI so we'll put GI BYTE close brackets comma and we like to convert it to terabyte right terabyte equals to Terra oh so it's it's T I B Y T E close 
oops we have an error here my friends this is purposely I have did it the reason is why to let you know my friends that these abbreviations are case sensitive it's very important to know that these abbreviations are case sensitive so in case if you mention it small letters it will not work so it should be G the capital G and T enter here we have it 1024 and 2023 here we have my friends so this is the best way I can explain you how to use the convert function I hope you guys you like this video so please push a like button subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share this video and a soft copy of this file will be available for free of download on my Facebook group page you can download it from there for your training and education purpose and I have already extracted the list of all the abbreviations which are there on the Microsoft page in this Excel file you can take a printout and you can review it anytime or you can just have a look or even you can go to this website and you can just have a look on that one and I'll be keep posting more further videos on Excel signing off for today your friend Farashi from F-Shake Excel Master.